In other showbiz news, as Poltergeist 3 opens around the country, the memory of Heather O'Rourke continues to make headlines. The mother of the star of the three Poltergeist movies has filed a wrongful death suit against the hospital and medical group that treated Heather. They're back. Heather O'Rourke sadly won't be back. Seven months after she finished filming Poltergeist 3, the child star was struck with flu-like symptoms that became very severe. She was being treated for inflammation of the bowel. And as her condition deteriorated, her mother called an ambulance. She said she loved me, and then she suffered cardiac arrest in the ambulance. And then they operated on her after they had her stable, and um, they told me she had a, a congenital blocked intestine and had died of septic shock. Mm -hmm. And the next day, that's when I got to thinking, well, this isn't what she had. What they thought she had was a, a bowel uh, inflammation. What she actually had was an obstruction. And the difference is they were treating her medically with uh, uh, drugs, whereas in fact what they should have done uh, uh, almost a year before her death was to operate and remove this uh, narrowed uh, portion of the bowel. And that's a fairly routine procedure, and had that been done, with the death of Heather O'Rourke and several other stars in the Poltergeist film, supermarket tabloids immediately began running stories of the films being jinxed. Zelda Rubenstein is in Poltergeist 3, playing her now familiar role of the clairvoyant. When we sat down to talk with her, we asked what she thought of the jinxed stories. I owe it to Heather to present her case as most honestly and lovingly as I can. I love this child very much. And I am still very grieved at her passing. Uh, Heather died uh, because of an undetected uh, con congenital anatomical defect. Uh, Julian Beck died from cancer in his mature years. Will Sampson passed away after receiving a heart-lung transplant. It's my understanding he had an environmental disease. And Dominique Dunn died at the hands of, of a, an extremely ill-directed, passionate boyfriend. Uh, these are reasons I do not call this a jinx. So uh, I think that it's pretty much a courtesy to put to an end this uh, superstitious um, Crap. There were also stories published that during filming, scripts would mysteriously vanish and objects would fly around the set. No, I've never had any experiences like that. Okay. No, I think it's hype. The objects we do see fly around can be credited to special effects people. And of course, some chills are courtesy of Zelda as Tangina. Can I? A character Zelda Rubenstein hopes to continue playing, even, sadly to say, without Heather O'Rourke. I believe that there's room for more, and a lot will depend on the public demand.